Hi guys, Larry Feldman with a short Python lesson. In this video, we're going to write a Python program to calculate the five number summary for eight data points. And um, as I said, it's, it's a short program and it's actually in the, in the real world, it, it has a lot of limitations because uh, this program will only work for eight data points. And it can be altered for, for any number of data points, but um, that would involve a, a much more complex program and it's beyond the scope of this course. So let's, uh, let's stick with the eight data points right now and, and as usual we'll start with some comments. We'll call it five number summary. Uh, the, uh, add the author's name and the date. So let's first tell the user what this program does. This program calculates the five number summary for eight data points. Then we're going to prompt the user to enter the data points uh, one by one. So let's define a variable num1, which is an input, and we'll say enter number one. And uh, as I've explained in the past, uh, this input would be treated as, as characters. So we have to tell the uh, program to treat those characters as a floating point number or decimal number. So we wrap the input function in uh, by the float function. Now let's copy and paste this. So that we can uh, input eight data points. So let's change all this. It's a little bit tedious. Okay. Now we define an array called data. And it's simply all these inputs listed one by one, separated by commas. Like that. And then I want to introduce a very handy function that's built into Python. Um, it's, it's a sorting function. So let's, let's create a new variable called data sorted. And it's going to be an array. And all we have to do is put, is put the word sorted here and then our previous array data. So we have our, our data array, which is which consists of the eight data points that, that were um, added as inputs by the user. Then I create a new array called data sorted, and all it is is the sorted version of the data that was that was inputted. So this built-in function called sorted is really, really convenient um, because it will automatically sort the data in ascending order. It saves us a lot of a lot of trouble. Okay, so let's define a variable called min, and that's going to be the first element in the data sorted array. And um, just as a reminder, the first element in an array is referenced by zero, referenced by the by the number zero. Then let's calculate the max which is the last element in the array, and that's going to be element 7. Then we have Q1, and refer to the video that I did on, on the five number summary um, as a reminder. Q, excuse me, we're going to do Q2 first. Q2 is the median, and that is going to be 
the mean or the average of the two center values. So we have data sorted three plus data sorted four divided by two. And we'll just add a comment that this is the median. Q1 is going to be data sorted 1 plus data sorted 2 divided by 2. And Q3 is going to be data sorted 5 plus data sorted 6 divided by 2. And now all we need to do is display to the user the values. So we have min equals comma min And let's go in order here. Q1 equals Q1. We can say median or Q2, it doesn't matter. Q3 and the maximum. like that. Let's save it and run. <clears throat> and as you can see it says this program calculates five number summary for eight data points enter number one. So let's just enter some some data in, in some random order here. like that. Notice it says that the min is negative 10. Let's look at our data. That appears to be right. The max is 100. That looks right as well. And uh, this says our median is 0.5. So to make sure that this works we, we would want to calculate it by hand first um, and then obviously test this program many times with with a lot of different um, inputs. In fact, one easy way to test the program is to input trivial data like this, 1 all the way up to 8. And we see that the minimum is 1 and the maximum is 8, as we would expect. The median is the average of the two center values, so the average of 4 and 5 is 4.5, so that's correct. Q1 is the median of the first half of data and that is the average of two and three which is two and a half and Q3 is the median of the data in the second half of, of the original set. The median of the second half of data is the average of six and seven which is 6.5. So this program appears to be working fine. As I said it's very limited. It will only work on eight data points. We could extend it to any number of data points, but that would create a, a much more complex program that's beyond the scope of this class. The, the main benefit of this lesson is to introduce, or was to introduce, the sorted function, which very easily sorts data and um, saves us a lot of trouble. That's it for now, and I will talk to you next time. Thanks.